Heat, 22-43. She'll be on the outside in nine. There was not a community more proud of this <laughs> young woman than Clovis, California's Jenna Prandini in Tokyo last year. And that's right, and this crowd will be proud of her too. She's eight-time an All-American at the University of Oregon, made her second Olympic appearance and won silver as a part of the 4x1 relay. Young Miss Sturgis will be in lane seven. I think she can make this team. She was third fastest in qualifying in the semifinal rounds with a 22-11 personal best. But all eyes on this young woman from Kentucky, Abby Steiner, shattered the collegiate record, running 21-80, the fastest time of the, in the world this year. She did it on this track. She looks unbeatable. Here's Brittany Brown. Personal best 21.99 set this year. She has the silver medal from the last World Championships in Doha. She'll be in five. And this is Tamara Clark in 2021. She was SEC champion, 100 200. She was fourth in 2021 at this distance at the Olympic trials, eliminated in the 100 earlier in the meet. Three women in this final set personal best or equal them to get here, including Kayla White, third in her semifinal personal best, 22.18. And this is Gabby Thomas, obviously had an incredible season last year. She ran 21.61 on this track at the time, becoming the second fastest woman. Obviously, Elaine thompson Hurrah ran faster at the Olympics. She's a bronze medalist, but she's suffering with a hamstring injury, and that's why she didn't look well through the rounds and has a really tough lane draw here, Otto, in lane two. I think Steiner's going to set another world lead, and I don't think this is going to be particularly close. I'm actually looking to see if Gabby Thomas has one race in her, yeah. one, 122 yeah. low, yep. she can still make this team despite being in lane two and not looking like her regular self throughout the rounds. There is the Olympic bronze medalist right there. She beat Shakari Richardson earlier this weekend. Shakari did not make this final. Yeah. Xfinity women's 200 meters. You're looking in all in blue. Abby Steiner, fourth from the left. And Abby Steiner not having the first 50 that she's used to, so she has some work to do, but a very competitive final with 100 to go. Kayla White looking good there, third from the right-hand side. She's taking the fight. She's taking the fight to Abby Steiner, but now Steiner reaches deep, and Abby Steiner's going to be a national champion. And there it is, another world lead, 21-77, into a slight headwind, minus point three. Tamara Clark up clock up the second and Jenna Prandini who as we know folks in this building <laughs> if you're trying to beat Jenna Prandini good luck to you <laughs> that's absolutely right what a great race for her she came off the turn in front uh, yeah. great running for Jenna Prandini but Abby Steiner she had to work for that 2177 Samara Clark there with also a lifetime best at 2192 just remember what Abby Steiner has done today. She ran 2180 in the semifinals, and then now, a couple hours later, comes back. Yes, yeah, she has to work for it, but 2180 and 2177 in one day. You're talking about times that we have not seen by anybody with a college uniform on ever. Tamara Clark got out nice and early and set that pace to chase, and there is Gabby Thomas coming across the line. But. The youngster, Abby Steiner, national champion. She had to chase Tamara Clark down and Jenna Prandini third. Can't wait for the Worlds again, Lewis. This is going to be spectacular. Great Team USA. Absolutely.